Then for a background analysis, usually we're going to pay attention to VTC future perpetual funding rate. This is my proper allocation thesis as of now. So total return since March 2019 is 1058%. Okay. Then last week I'm gonna solve all the tokens that I hold for Rooks and the CRB. Okay. Then these are my all crypto assets currently investment in. Then these are my total investment return for each crypto assets. Okay. Then if you are interested in much more detailed information about my proper allocations and also my real-time buying and selling action for every single crypto assets, including ICO, IDO, and DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, Real-Time Buy and Sell Signal. The major purpose of this membership program is to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here, okay? For my detail, please check out my video, and here's my video link, okay? Then, let's start on Bitcoin market analysis. So, as usual, BTC, USDT, Core Chart. Last week, we're gonna gradually slow in recovery moment here, as you can see, based on the volume demand basis. The first of all, the key things what I want to pay attention to here. January 24th, we're gonna experience this certain level of price recovery here. Main reason for this will be the short cover by Twitter on this sharp drop here. Okay? Then, another key point is this one. January 26th, Fed, points to, to interest rate high coming in March. With this news, we're gonna experience this short bearish trend here. All right? Then additional news on 27th. SEC rejects Fidelity's proposal for Bitcoin ETF, but market almost no reactions. All right? Then once we get the KDJ here, still widening. Still the bearish trend, it's continuing, okay? Then for a background analysis, usually we're gonna pay attention to BTC future perpetual funding rate. Then, key point is again, this one, plus 0.005%. With this interest rates under this level here, there is no big negative impact for the you know, Bitcoin price market with these stats. Okay, so still, currently it's healthy. But you know, once these stats hit again, higher than plus 0.005%, Bitcoin price will go down again. Okay, so that's why we need to continuously pay attention to these stats. Then let's talk, daily chart. So as I predicted last week, here, again, MA18 functional like resistance line, BTC price tend to be bearish from here. Then once you look at the KDJ here, this is the most critical part for the daily chart analysis. Looks like in a short term trend, it's peak up on the bullish trend and move into converging trend. So in this move, we might see some, you know, these relatively weak blue trend here, but usually they're gonna you know, move in the combining trend. So I think, so bleach breakout against MA18 takes more time. On the Bollinger Band basis, what I'm thinking right now, after this combining trend, or this Bollinger Band upper trend line and the down trend line, combining like this way, then KDJ also experiences dead class, then recovery mode here, gradually BTC price moving to the bridge. That's what I'm thinking about, okay? Then next one, BTC USDT weekly chart. Still BTC under EMA 75 here. Then seven days average change, almost nothing here. Then once we're gonna go to KDJ here, gradually, you see this here, golden cloth is coming right now. As you can see here, same trend. So on a weekly chart basis, it takes a little more time, maybe two or three weeks or so, but but the price recovery on the Bitcoin market is gradually coming. That's what I'm thinking right now on this, you know, KDJ sus trend. Okay. Then about monthly chart, review item again. So we have to pay attention to bottom price formations on the current BTC price. Okay. There are three scenarios: lower bottom, flat bottom, upper bottom. About flat bottom price target is around 30k here. Most importantly, what do we pay attention to? The formation of head and shoulder top pattern. 
then to get all time high updates, flat bottom or upper bottom is minimal requirements. Okay? Then still VTC looking for the bottom formation here. The possibility of the upper bottom formations is already vanished. Because look at here, almost flat level, right? So it's vanished. So we have to pay attention to flat bottom or lower bottom as of now in this trend line. So I still expect one more bull run on a BTC twice. Then once they're gonna hit same level as shoulder one here, then right after this, we're gonna see a sharp price drop with higher volume level here. It's pretty clear signal that they're gonna form hit and a shoulder top pattern, okay? But still, what we need to pay attention to is bottom formations, flat bottom or lower bottom. So that's a key point, what I want you to pay attention to here, okay? So here, another review item, BTC is having run 221, okay? The Bitcoin experience is two having moments in the past, first having, second having. First having, starting from 2012, November 28th, here, and almost exactly one year later, BTC up the autumn high on December 4th, 2013. Then deviation line short based on the stock to full price at that moment plus 969%. Alright? Then second half in moment, 2016, July 7th. Then almost 1.5 year later, here December 17th, 2017, BTC up the autumn high in this peak level here. Then deviation line short based on the stock to full price hit plus 351%. Then now we have third half in moments. Starting from May 11th, 2020, here. The key point is, you know, what's the deviation on your targets? Currently, what I suppose is plus 127%. But one key thing what I want to pay attention to, deviation on show itself is going down. So public price move of the Bitcoin and bull run is gradually weakening. All right? That's key things I want to pay attention to. Then why are we going to see such weakening trend about public price move of the Bitcoin? Reason is quite simple. This one. So for example, this is one risk asset market cap ranking. The Bitcoin currently top eight next to Facebook, 722 billion. But simply say, the Bitcoin as a risk asset, their market cap is pretty big enough. So keepers, once you look at, you know, up on Microsoft, we're gonna never see such public price move anymore because they are a pretty mature asset for the you know, risk asset investment. So same as Bitcoin because their market is pretty you know, big enough already. That is why they have to continuously attract new investor or additional money into this market. Just like in you know, Google, Facebook, Amazon, they're gonna do on their you know, risk asset investment stuff. Then currently, you know, entire crypto asset market, only Bitcoin crossing chasm already because you know, corporate buying power of the Bitcoin is already started, like Square, MicroStrategy, and also Tesla. Right? But still, they have to continuously attract more investors from here. That is why I told you many times, Bitcoin Spot ETF is a critical demand to achieve this goal here. Okay? So about with plus 127 division one short, I'm going to suppose for measure scenario to hit this price level here. All these things coming from how much money the Bitcoin can attract from the traditional financial market, like in the stock market or bond market. Right? And correctly, still, I'm going to suppose between number one, number two would be the ideal scenario. January 2022 to August 2022. Then, but all the scenario is delayed model, which means that delayed more than second half in moments, 1.5 years later. So it takes more than 1.5 years later. Right? This simply means, you know, Bitcoin need more money, more investor to increase the price. That's why. Okay? Then from here, fundamental stats analysis, most of the data from graphs now is Bitcoin stock flow ratio. So stock to flow price, January 30th, is 109K042. The actual price is 38K070. So the price gap is minus 65%. Right? The last week was minus 62%, so stats get worse. Then for a reference, in 2017, before the Bitcoin experience is pretty strong bullish line, this stats also hit minus 65%. Okay. Then I saw BTC after was minus 70% compared with last week. Because in the market, it's kind of stable compared with last week. That's why this stats is minus. 
But once we're going to look at the BTC transaction fee, it's actually plus 28%, $2.02 per transactions. The reason for this is Bitcoin hash rate up their all time high. So gradually the cost structure for the BTC transaction fee is getting higher. That's why this stat hit the plus. Okay. The next one, BTC NUPR. So last week was 0.325, this week was 0.384. Then once the stats hit higher than 0.75, which means market is too hot, right? Then, then for a reference, right before Bitcoin experience is so brown on the second halving moments, these stats hit also 0.436, okay? Then it's all market cap and the BTC domain slates. Market cap plus 3.2%, small increase, okay? Then BTC dominant slates plus 41.59. Seven day change plus 0.82. This means this market cap recovery led by Bitcoin. Then for our backup analysis, we're gonna check out East BTC weekly chart basis. You see this here? Neckline test almost failed. So we might see a little more further price question from here. Because once look at the KDJ, still wide opening. After two or three weeks later, gradual recovery mode will start from here. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. Then next one, WBTC means of burns. Last week, no actions. This is the last week's stats. So this week, no updates. Okay. Then next one, Google search trend. BTC plus 1635, gold plus 252, ease plus 14. NFT plus 218, Metaverse minus one two. Looks like you know a lot of you know investors pay attention to BTC price reactions against FOMC meeting result. That's what I'm thinking about. Then also NFT popularity steady in growing up like this way. It's pretty great. Then next one, gold USD weekly chart basis. Still in this range price move here, as you can see. Still we have to pay attention to whether this combining trend moving to these bearish directions or bullish directions. Then for the bullish directions, we have to pay attention to this price here, 1877, okay? Then US inflation rate, no change, 7.04%. Next target is February 10th. Especially, FRB is planning to start, you know, fiscal tightening policy. So we need to pay attention to how this inflation rate is going down with the FRB policy, okay? The same as US 10-year treasury yield note too. Still keeping bridge trend here, as you can see. So last week is, you know, the last week stats ended up to 1.773, minus 0.004% change. So the next move, what we need to pay attention to, with this, you know, FRB fiscal timing policy, how this interest rates move into bridge trend or bearish trend. Okay, that's what we need to pay attention to. But my prediction is since you know FRB planning to stop buying you know US Treasury bond anymore, because they're gonna stop quantity easing policy. So from that perspective, this interest rates continuously goes up. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. The next one, wild risk exposure ranking, January 30s. Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin creator, top 33rd, two lines up compared to last week. Next one, world GDP ranking, January 30th. Entire metaverse economic size is 1.82 trillion, number 10, next to Italy. The next one, SRB founder index, five day chart, almost no move last week, right? Then future US economy debt. The next one, this one, FOMC, March 15th, 16th. Because we have to so seriously pay attention to their fiscal tightening policy, which have a pretty big market influence on the entire crypto market, including Bitcoin. Okay. Then that's one, key news update. As usual, COVID-19 gets worse. Total infection number plus 6.7%. Last week was 7%, so it's a little bit going down, but still keep higher level. But that's why I show 1.2%. Last week was 1.0%, so this stats gets worse. Why? Because of Omicron, okay? 
Next one, key news updates. Visa record over 2 billion in the transaction for crypto week occurred in, in 2022 quarter one. It's a great news because you know still you know quarter one has not ended yet. But but 2 billion transactions. Amazing. Next key news. Meta unveils Metaverse's AI supercomputer claimed it will be the world's fastest. Seemingly, this is great news. But to me, I don't think so. Because Metaverse supercomputer means just like Big Brother by George Orwell's 1984. So again, we have to build blockchain metaverse. Why? Because these tech giant players such as Facebook with this supercomputer, they can control everything. Every single social activity on metaverse economy. So there is no privacy control anymore for us. If you want to take privacy control on your own, you have to choose this decentralized blockchain metaverse. Okay. So this is the last slide. So Hodo is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook, the ones we can look at the legendary angel investor attractions, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Weedle Homan, all the time, they're gonna take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. But here's another evidence for the Binance research. This is a Bitcoin case, and the longest holder of the Bitcoin must find the investment return. Here, plus 220% much larger number than other short terms here. So I'm going to also basically take the long-term investor approach. So I'm going to also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay? All right, so that's all this time. So I'm going to make this video for educational purpose. So I'm not going to guarantee you any kind of certain investment outcome with this video or any video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and water space. So I'm going to make a lot of this video of crypto and space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.